Rolling to you, Reg. Well, that's brilliant. Brilliant catch. For Kate. A hundred for Kate. His first hundred in one day cricket. Yes! It's Bolden. He's played it on to his stats. Look, this is the third game. Just flying off the edge to the left for diving fielder and Dondo will not get there. So the first ball will score. That's a tremendous shot. It's a much better shot than the earlier one. The result could be the same. This time it's on the leg side. The second boundary of the over for Virinder Seva. This time the ball deserved the punishment. Edge and taken. That's good delivery by Douglas Hondo. Well, he picks up early Indian wickets. He does Douglas Hondo. That's what he did in Kochi. And he's picked up the Indian captain. Edge and this time it's gone again to first lift. Alistair Campbell is having fun out there. And so is this man, Douglas Hondo. He's gone over the top. He's not going to be bothered with the situation, Sarah. He's picked up another boundary. That's away. Finds the onside boundary this time. Fractionally short, but Seva was in the position quickly. No ball call, and Seva smashed it away. That's taken. Third wicket for Hondo. Another catch in the slip cordon. Alistair Campbell has taken the catch, and India have lost a big wicket here. Travert getting into the act. Nice forcing shot off the back foot. He gets his first boundary. A strike on 48. Don, call behind. Flower takes the catch. Irvin strikes. So India in just a little bit of trouble now. Going along well. Run rate's brilliant, but they've lost four wickets. Sewag's out. Well, that's brilliant. Brilliant catch. Diving in front of uh, first slip. Irvin, the catcher. That is brilliant. He's got his fourth wicket, Hondo. And India are in trouble now at 87 for five. That's gone for four. It's a thumping uh, square cut from Dravid. His third four. Rahul Dravid is playing some good square cuts here today. Another one. Put that away though. That uh, had hit me written all over it. Short and uh, spinning down the leg side. Dravid will be tested. He's gone. He knew at the moment he had to, was sort of obliged to get to the other end. He knew he was struggling and the director has given him no chance. He's walking towards the pavilion, very unhappy. It's in the air. Well. It's in the air and uh, all the way. Big six over oh, mid-wicket for Mohamed Kaif. got away with it it's uh, premeditated it's deliberate it's cheeky 89 for Kaif 100 for Kaif his first 100 in one day cricket what a brilliant innings that was because he's resurrected India great shot picked it up plenty of bottom hand into the gap at mid wicket for four Coming again, full toss this time. It's over Heath Streak, and it's four more. Down the ground, but uh, it won't be too long off. Back for two, and that's the end of the Indian innings. Zahir Khan, Zahir Khan, perhaps quicker. That's the ball you were talking about, but I think it was going down the leg side.
Dion Ibrahim who takes a walk so we have another situation in fact the second batsman that I remember in this tournament Shoaib Malik was the first a victim of a leg before that was consulted great shot saw the width and he's a good front foot player Andy Fla it's in the air and straight down fine leg throw Nera not only drops it he palms it over the boundary it's in the air out you've got a backward point Campbell has gone getting frustrated getting bogged down made just eight Good shot. There's nobody out on uh, the offside boundary. That is quite beautifully timed again by Andy Flower. Uh, that's gone away fine. This outfield is quick. And that'll beat Kumle to the boundary. Swung away. Just backward a square, but it's bisected the man at mid wicket and at deep backward square. Yuvraj, brilliant. Thought I heard uh, calls of no, 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 but uh, either Grant Flower didn't hear or he didn't take any notice. That was brilliant fielding from uh, Yuvraj. Yes! It's Bolden, he's played it on to his stats. So double break here for India. Another no ball, plenty of bottom hand in the shot as well, that's picked his gap again so beautifully over mid-wicket. Four more to Andy Flower. Thin edge I think and gone. So Whittle after a brief and uh, explosive little innings of 29 has got a thin edge through to Dravid. Four balls, one of those would do. Has managed to uh, glove the first ball down the leg side for four. Red just over nine at the moment. Now that's a loose delivery. It's drifted down the leg side and Andy Fla has cashed in. Do you think? Oh! That's in the air. That's taken. A cheeky shot attempted. Ganguly was waiting for that because he was a lot finer. And uh, you normally have a fielder there. So the sixth wicket goes down. That's a crashing shot through the offside. It's beaten Harpajan in the deep. That's again in the air. This time Ganguly comes underneath it and takes it. That's a good piece of bowling. Once again changing the pace, it was tossed up higher, it was very slowly bowled. But that's, that's gone through. Four buys. Excellent Yorka to finish the match. A good, good effort by Zahir Khan. He gets his fourth wicket. India win by 14 runs. The summary then of this third match of the Champions Trophy, the ICC Champions Trophy in 2002. India batting first. Mahmoud Kef 111 not out. Dravid 71 and Sewak 48. 288 for six. Zimbabwe 274 for eight. A splendid century. 145 from Andy Flower. India winning narrowly by 14 runs.